today's workout talk about fail that was that was a fat fail deadlifts were okay but the workout after that What's up everybody, welcome to my garage. Hope you're all doing well, you better be crushing life. Now last video we started the Hellcat build, finally, and guess what? Next video, yeah we got more Hellcat build stuff because Casey Draper texted me like, yo bro, we gotta get to it. So he's gonna make sure we finish that project timely, which is so cool. But this video is the opposite of the Hellcat. We're going, we're going electric, which it's not exciting, but it is. That's right, we're gonna go borrow James's Hummer EV. Now let me explain why. You guys know, I, I film with some of his cars here and there on the channel, but I don't always go and take every single car of his. But the Hummer EV, when he moved, I helped him move his vehicles from the warehouse to his new house. If you haven't seen his new house, his videos, uh, you gotta go check them out, they're insane. But when I helped him move those vehicles over, I drove the Hummer EV to the new house. That was my first time driving it. I was shocked and impressed because I'm not a big EV fanboy. I'm, I'm not pro, I'm not anti, I just, I like my V8s, V10s and all that stuff, but the Hummer EV, I said, man, we gotta get this out again. So we're gonna go get it. Now, I'm wearing some fresh kicks. I'm loving these right now, but uh, we got some other kicks we gotta open. We're gonna get to those shortly first. When you're gonna go get an electric vehicle, you might as well take the Whipple Supercharged V8 Beast. All right, so now last time you guys know, you should recall the Raptor was dead. So I have not fixed the battery, so it should still be dead. But even though I know it was dead, we're gonna try it again anyways. Yeah, okay, she's still dead. Obviously that makes sense. But at this point, we've got the drill down packed. I think we're capable. Here we go. Okay, I gotta get the battery replaced every time. that there we'll need that later white wheels looking fresh 38 38 baby local supercharger i gotta clean the engine bay but we're good let's roll here we go Whew. now as you recall i put the 38 inch tires on this bad boy full right turn no rub no rub we're good baby whipple let's go hit it we jump started a gasoline vehicle because the battery is dead and we're gonna go trade that for a vehicle that all it has our batteries. I don't know what you call that. That's interesting. Ironical. It also does not sound like this. Yes. I will say this. I do kind of like the way the EV sounds. The Hummer EV. All right, folks, we've made it to the Casa de la Strad. I assume you guys have all seen this on his video. It's insane. There's Oscar. Oh, look, he's getting blind soon. That'll be good. I know he's excited about that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. But this is the coolest thing, is you go through the tunnel. I mean, I mean, he's got a freaking tunnel that connects his house to the garage, insane. Yep, now she's gonna be dead in James's driveway. Hey, Floof. What's up, buddy? What's good? What's cracking? What's up? What's up? Thanks What's for up? the uh, vehicle. Truck looks today. amazing. The white wheels it's, are sick. Yeah, I mean, upgraded. So we went big. Yeah. I mean, they're not 40s, but uh, you know, 42s, sorry. I was saying the ironic thing is, I had to jumpstart this vehicle to get here. Right. And. I'm trading it for a vehicle that's full of batteries. Well, so you dead know, battery. GMC power. I do have to take a moment to stop and thank today's video sponsor, Omaze. Because guess what? Omaze is giving you the chance to win an all electric Hummer EV edition one. So before we get too far into it, for your chance to win your very own Hummer EV edition one, make sure you go to amaze.com slash burlacker and enter now. By entering, you're also supporting a great cause, rebuilding together. Now rebuilding together makes essential repairs to help neighbors stay in their homes. Local affiliates who are rooted in the community work with community residents and leaders to revitalize them. Look, we all know someone or a community that could use a lot of help and this is a great way to get together and help those communities. Also, I do need to ask if you were to win the Hummer EV Edition 1, what would you do? Because me and myself, I got, I got a lot of ideas and we're gonna get into that as we get into the Hummer EV. Now, if y'all recall, the Hummer EV has a thousand horsepower, which is slightly more than my supercharged GT350. It also does zero to 60 
in three seconds and tows 7,500 pounds. It's immaculate, it's luxurious. It retails for about $113,000 dollars and it could be yours so make sure you hit the link below to enter for your chance to win your own hummer ev edition one i got whipple power whipple can we power? supercharge the GMC? you don't have whipple power if you don't have a battery bro can we, can we, can it doesn't we need it it doesn't need it it always needs more power ah uh, you'd be surprised more You're power scream baby. like a little girl when you launch it also i gotta get a little uh, taller we were in texas and people were like oh wow you're really you're a lot taller than i thought it's because I'm next to you all the time. Well, yeah, they say it to me too. What do they say to you? They say, oh, wow, you are really tall. Oh, they think I'm faking it. Stop they feeding, think I'm faking stop it. Stop feeding his ego, okay? Uh, We've no. never actually formally measured his height. He we says have. he's 6'6", but honestly, he might be 6'5". Yeah, I'm 6'7". We six, don't know. Seven. How do we know? There's no way to know. There's literally no way to know. It's impossible. Trust me. Take two. <laughs> Camera wasn't on. What I said was, ooh, look at that. We're not even going to go there. We're not even going to acknowledge it because it's incredible. You've seen it on James's video. Hello. The Hummer said hello. It lit up because your key is in your pocket. It lit up. Also, it's on oh. the charger right now. You got a full charge. It's detailed. What's the range? What's the range? Uh, maybe 200 miles. It's not fully charged. It's not fully charged. Okay. It's got enough going. Oh, look it's at that. Look at that. Oh, that's how. So we're 50% charged. Yeah, you're about right? 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, what happens if I am like out and about and the battery is dead? What, what do you do? Because like obviously if I'm out of fuel, I just walk to a gas station, get a can, pour it in. What do you do? That's on you, bro. I, I don't know. You gotta what figure would that you out. Do? Well, you, you would, you don't let that happen. You take it to the charger. Okay. Okay, you just don't be dumb. Okay. Wait, 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 before you move it, window down, cold start up. Wait, did you already turn it on? No, 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 I haven't okay. turned it on yet. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. It's on now. Again, EVs. <laughs> this is a strike against the Hummer. Now. I, I will say this, I will say this. When I go work out at 6 a.m., if I had a vehicle that was as quiet as the Hummer and not the Raptor, my neighbors would be happier. Let's go, let's go for a jog. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, it's quiet. Yeah, look at that, so quiet. Yeah, buddy, ooh. What a, what a vehicle. And I'm gonna have better, more profound things to say than what a vehicle, likely, at some point in this video. I don't know when, so you better stick around to hear what I have to say. You're gonna be profound in today's video? Yes. That's sick, yes. let's go. Yes. Funny joke, actually. Oh, okay. The other day, uh, two dogs and a cat oh. died. <laughs> I told you this joke, this is my joke. You wanna say it? No, no. Two dogs and a cat die, they go to heaven and they meet God and the dog he talks to God and, and the, the God says to the dog. <laughs> and the cat says, get out of my seat. Is that how it went? That's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. All right, let's go. It's not lifted as high as the Raptor, though. That's kind of a, you know. You be okay? Uh, it's kind of emasculating, but that's we'll what see. I assume. That's, that's what, what I assume. We'll see. We'll you see. know, you're in an EV yeah. on factory suspension. Yeah. But it's got launch control. Watch your freedom, baby. Thanks, yeah. dude. Best of luck. We'll, we'll bring it back in a bit. Yeah. Maybe. You might just keep the Raptor for a while. Okay, that's yeah. fine. That's gonna do me a lot of good. <laughs> yeah. All right, see you guys. Now, if y'all have not seen James's house moving videos. Uh, they've been pretty epic, so go check those out. We're not gonna do a house tour or anything on this channel. Like that's his, that's his cause. Check out his videos. It's insane. It's awesome. It's sick. Also, Oscar, he's got a play date, so we're gonna take him with us for a minute. The EV might be Oscar's favorite vehicle. He loves the Raptor, absolutely. But as far as like comfort, quiet, peacefulness, he seems pretty happy. He might like the Hummer more. Status update, uh, we've been in this Arby's line for, no diss on Arby's, but uh, they're busy today. 20 minutes. Oscar and I are about to lose it. <sighs> we can't drive the Hummer off a cliff. I want to. I'm just hungry. We'll make it. Our food is right, right there. Right there. Thanks, man. Have a good day. You too. We're almost there. We got the food. Obviously, we're not going to eat this in the car, so we got a jet home super fast and eat super fast. All right, it's time for some fun, but there's one thing first that as a big person, I'd be remiss if I did not mention first. So we gotta get in the back seat. There are very few vehicles out there that beat or can compete with the Legroom and the Raptor. And the Hummer EV, it's not bad, remember. The front seat is currently positioned where I was driving. Now, when I got in, I did not move it all the way back. So, if a normal to slightly taller person was driving, a tall person would not be super comfortable in the back, 
it's manageable, but nothing like the Raptor. That is one thing where the Raptor wins. But I will say this, assuming you're a bunch of normal sized human beings sitting comfortably in the front and the back of the Hummer EV, you're actually going to love it because you also have this, this roof. It's so cool. And I wish it weren't raining. We could remove it. I mean, to have a truck that is also the open top life. I know Jeeps can do that. This is more than a Jeep, not to offend Jeep nation, but this is this is big. Now, this is not, again, gonna be a full tour review. We're not gonna go over all the cool Easter eggs that they have in this vehicle, which there are many and they are super cool. Let's just go rip it right now. Because I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna stand by this comment. The Hummer EV is the coolest by far electric vehicle on the market not electric truck electric vehicle i've driven most electric vehicles out there i've not driven the rivian but i have driven the f-150 lightning i've driven most of the teslas including the tesla plaid this trumps all of them no contest now again this is a hundred plus thousand dollar vehicle and you can buy the ford f-150 lightning for uh 40 50 grand that's a good deal taking price out of it this is the coolest ev vehicle out there definitely cooler than the Cybertruck. Sorry, Tesla fans. And I know even though I haven't driven the Rivian, I will like this more than the Rivian because frankly, regardless of everything else, this is bigger. I, I like the bigger vehicles, that's just me. Let's go, baby. I mean, just the, the tactile feel of everything, it feels almost too nice. I know, that's weird. Okay, power button there. It's on, okay, yeah. I, again, one thing with electric vehicles, you get no oomph. I like the oomph but uh, this is cool. The backup camera is solid. Also, the rear view mirror is a camera, and I love that. I feel like all vehicles, I don't read the safety board inquiry bulletins, national advisory stuff in America, but all rear view mirrors should be a camera rear view mirror at some point because it's safer, it's better. You can see everything. Now, I know everybody's on the wait list, and if you're not on the wait list, you're thinking like, well, I wanna get on the wait list, but what's the point? It's a three-year wait list. And most of us can't pay the, uh, the secondary market for these Hummer EVs, they're selling for like 200K plus, which is crazy. But somehow if you're fortunate enough to have one, worth it, kind of, I mean 200K for uh, almost worth it. It's crazy. Now I need to say this as I turn and punch it. One thing that actually, uh, this is, there was a cop, there's a cop back there. I don't know why I'm accelerating, <laughs> my bad. Now, one thing that actually bugs me, not about this car, but that this car does that bugs me about other vehicles is everything in this vehicle is so cool and so nice. Why can't more vehicles be cool in that sense? All of the tactile feel of these buttons, right? You have this huge screen, but they didn't say, hey, we're just gonna make a vehicle with one big screen. We're actually gonna have tactile response, physical buttons, and these are so cool. They're not your typical plastic buttons. It's like those little things that make a car cool. The whole feeling and experience of being inside this vehicle, that's one thing I love about it. The other thing, again, I'm an exhaust guy, right? I love a good exhaust. The noise this makes, I like it, I appreciate it. It's not an exhaust, it's not a V8 but I appreciate it. Because while it is an electric vehicle, it still makes enough of a noise to give you some feedback and response in terms of what the vehicle is doing. There's enough audible response involvement. When I'm riding in, in, a, in a Tesla or something, it's so torquey, it's so jerky, there's no noise, I don't know what's going on, I get jerked around, I get, I get kind of motion sick. That's just the reality. But when I ride passenger in the Hummer EV, this is just like, this is like, yeah, this is big time vehicle. This just feels right. You know what's going on with the vehicle, even as a passenger, it's just smooth. Still to turn to that, but whenever you're ready. Yeah, can I get a number seven? Of course, give me this moment. Come on, number seven. I think you told me to be trying to pick up the window. Yes. I gotta say, life is pretty good right now. I got some Taco Bell and I'm gushing, I'm gushing over a vehicle. I'm gushing over the Hummer EV. That's, I'm not sensationalizing, I'm not dramatizing. This car is, is just cool. It's fun. Except now I'm left with life's greatest quandaries. I got Taco Bell in here, but I'm in my buddy's like brand new vehicle. I shouldn't eat it inside, right? I, I shouldn't? I, I, well, I want to. Can you eat talk? I'm gonna get lettuce all over the place. I won't do it. Now, because we're in a hurry, we obviously should switch modes into like some sort of hyper space WTF mode. We're not gonna tow, we're not gonna haul, we're not over terrain. Well, we could go in my backyard, go over terrain. That'd be cool. Let's go back to normal. I don't know where sport is. I, I don't know where WTF mode is. Open road, let's go. Let's go. Ignore the speed limit sign, ignore the speedometer. Oh, even uphill on a curve. 
This thing rips. The truck is just dreamy. I don't know what else to say. I mean, couldn't you see yourself driving one of these someday? Speaking of driving, crabs. Crab walk. We're gonna drive crab walk. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're gonna try. That's kinda nifty. I can lie. I shouldn't say like the Hummer is amazing and then say Taco Bell is also amazing because they're different levels, but this is taco right now, it's hitting. The quesadilla is also hitting. So I wanted to get a picture of the Hummer with the reflection of the water before the sun goes down. So I parked it in the water, but now I can't get out because I don't want to walk through the water and A, get my, my shoes messed up, but also I don't want to do that to the inside of James's Hummer, get it all wet inside. So it's about being gentle, respecting property. Uh, we're being cautious. Okay, gentle, 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 gentle. Okay, we did it. I'll be back in a second. You guys still there? You got the picture, pretty sweet. I don't want to step on the seats. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. The key to life, I've learned, when you weigh 280 pounds, you have to learn how to distribute that weight over things so you don't break things. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're gonna hit the road, but I do need to figure out how to do Watts to Freedom Mode. Also, Crab Walk Mode, just FYI, is that button right there. You hold it down for about six seconds, and this happens. Yo. That's pretty cool. Watts to freedom. I'm gonna figure this out on my own. It can't be that complicated. Hey Siri, Google how to do Watts to freedom mode. I'm just gonna figure it out myself. Yeah, I think I I think I figured it out. You just hit this button twice and bam, here we go. I, I knew I could figure it out. Vehicle lowering. I don't have a runway, so we need to uh, flip around. So let's see what happens. Now we're good. Oh, okay. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that's, okay. That's stupid. That's a lot of fun. Uno mas. Cops are out, so we're gonna be a little bit careful. All right, we got one more. We got a red light. We got a couple cars. And then we floor it. <laughs> Shoot. That's... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm gushing over this vehicle some more. I'm, I'm gushing. I don't know what to say, but our time with the Hummer EV may be at an end. One last bit though. It's got the uh, accent lighting right there. I don't know why more vehicles don't do that. Some Mustangs do. It's the little things like that. And I'm not just saying like cool for an EV vehicle. It's cooler than uh, a lot of just normal vehicles. Straight up. Again, pull tabs. They never work. I don't know which ones these are. They've been in the garage for a while. Oh, now I know what they are. How do we do this right? One sec. Fanny pack, fanny pack, fanny pack. They're righteous. That is a power combo. That's cool. Taco Bell's amazing. And the Hummer EV, again, is one of the greatest vehicles out there. I said it. I wish you all the best of luck. Make sure you go crush it. Thanks for sticking around. Peace.